secret weapon of the regime. Now, after it's been confirmed Jakana Naduli is no more, different political figures in the country are now giving out their opinions on the death of this big man on different social media platforms. His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, has said that Jakana now joins very many critical Ugandans who have died under very unclear circumstances. And Dr. Kiza Besije, in an interview on NTV Uganda this morning, has said that there is no way any Ugandan of right thinking will be convinced that Jakana Naduli died a natural death after subjected to torture by security operatives a few weeks back. And if you have been following on social media, a big section of Ugandans are not believing that Jakana has died a natural death. We hope that a post-mortem will be carried out so that the public can actually get to know what has caused the death of Jakana Naduli. But let's first of all listen in to Dr. Kiza Besijay as he gives his opinion on the death of Abdul Naduli's son, Jakana Naduli. This is The Buzz UG. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Regardless of whether they find that death was caused by a heart <laughs> failure or whatever, it has to be related with the intense torture, both psychological and physical torture that he has just uh, gone through. And many people have been tortured and nobody has been held responsible. We saw here uh, not long ago, Kakwenza, who was picked from his home by security people, taken to SFC dungeons, tortured greatly, brought to court, oozing pus and blood and so on, and in spite of his condition, remanded to Kitalia before he was eventually granted bail and uh, now lives abroad. Nobody has been arraigned before any court for torturing him. And so has been the case with many others. You remember the chairman, NRM chairman, of Kamwenge, mm -hmm. who was also tortured and eventually, uh, when exposed to the media, was taken to Nakasero Hospital and so on and stayed there for a long time. I don't know where that chairman is. Nobody has ever been brought to, uh, to court. Many people have died in detention. Some have now forgotten a young man called Mamenero, who was tortured at the CMI. That time, I think it, it was still called DMI here uh, at their headquarters until he died and there was a, a report on that you know he, 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 nothing nobody was uh, prosecuted for his death uh, and so has been all these hundreds and hundreds of people that are being kidnapped on a daily basis taken to unknown places, some found dead in, in, in different parts. This kind of criminality must come to an end, and, and it will not bring itself to an end. And, and, and so it's extremely sad to hear the, the news of the death of a young person, 37 years of age, with a family, with, uh, you know, all people who have been having hopes in him. Uh, I, I must convey my deepest uh, sympathy and condolences to the family of uh, al Haj Abdul Naduli, uh, to the relatives and friends. Uh, he was um, uh, a supporter of the National Unity Platform. I condole uh, the National Unity Platform and all his colleagues that he was associating with. It's very sad for the country. Um, I, I think it's a wake-up call. You know, I've been telling people, wake up. It's a wake-up call that this will happen to you. Whether you say, I am an NRM supporter, it will come to you. Some Criminality people. has no borders, you know? The, the, we must all unite and say enough is enough. 
the use of force and terror is systemic. It is continuous. It is in the whole system. In fact, we should worry because poisoning is no longer a secret weapon of the of the regime. You know, uh, many people have died in ways to suggest that they have been poisoned. Uh, uh, indeed, some even through uh, tests have been said to have interacted with the poisons. So we need to worry, all of us. It's the whole system of criminality intended to preserve a regime in power, a regime that is unpopular, a regime that uses force to remain in power. Uh, and that takes you to, the, the, you know, the source of those drones even since 2021 and the killings of 2020, which themselves have never been, nobody has ever been arraigned in court over the killings of 2020. Audio Jungle.